Hello and welcome to a look at a video kit for the Amiga, the game that was developed by Twilight Limited and released by Gremlin. The plot of this game is that the Billy is a normal everyday kid, as of 19, early 90s, who loved to watch television. One day his dad buys a brand new cassette player, or video recorder I think it's called, old tech for those uh, too young to remember such things. But uh, anyway, he, he buys a new uh, video recorder and some tapes. And Billy starts watching one of them, and instead of getting any sound or picture, he hears this evil laughter. And as he moves closer to the television set, the television explodes, it's sucking him in, because that makes perfect sense. He is now trapped in a video world, where this evil master overlord, the bad guy, smelly pants, whatever, um, it tells him that he has to navigate the five worlds that has been created, which are maze like uh, worlds, and um, if he manages to get through them all, he will return to normal life, and if not, he will be trapped in the video world forever, whatever, sort of thing. Well done. The plot is not exactly original, but I suppose, I mean, uh, how many plots can you actually make original, original without making them bizarre? Some have tried, and uh, yeah, the plots were bizarre. As you can probably gather from the graphics, or from the video I should say, by now, um, Video Kit is a scrolling shoot map, but it is not just horizontally or vertically, vertically scrolling, it is actually scrolling all over the place, and of course, um, fun being fun, the game is on rails, which means of course that the scrolling is uh, predefined, you do not affect it in any way, shape or form, and you will have to navigate the different levels based on whatever the scrolling dictates you should do. The game really likes to encourage you to go into corners where you can be trapped, which is something that you will learn the hard way. The different um, pickups you see that it looks like coins and whatnot, they are um, only points, they don't have any other relevance. But, of course, being a shooter, you need to have something to shoot with. And you start out with a pea shooter kind of thing, and can find various different weapons, like uh, the flamethrower, which is actually what we're using quite uh, right now, even. Um, yeah, don't ask. And orbs and uh, lasers and all sorts of good stuff that you may expect from a shoot map. You can also uh, find directional shots, which will give you um, angled forward shot, or um, horizontal shot, or vertical shot, and you also have power cubes, the blue blobs you can see from time to time, I see power up cube things that will power up your current weapon. And um, you can also get smart bombs, of which you have three. Before you quickly go over the interface, uh, bottom left side, the score. So right of that, the number of smart bombs you have, and to the right of that again, the number of lives you have, and further to the right, your energy bar meter kind of thing. And uh, depending on what you hit or hits you, your energy bar will deplete at a uh, not so alarming or completely and utterly alarming rate. And uh, that belongs to the gameplay, which I will get to shortly. Let's talk uh, the technical stuff. Graphics-wise, uh, certain people seem to think that uh, it looks very nice, and other people seem to think it looks very, very blare. I'm somewhere in the middle. Um, it's definitely not an ugly game, but... Um, the graphics are quite detailed for, um, for what they are, and the style is very, very thematically... Correct, we are in medieval world, by the way, in case you are wondering. The main sprite? Um, I don't know, he... Uh, yeah, I suppose he has to look a bit spacey, being the 
hero in a game uh, where he's trapped in a video of some description. So I suppose he has a, a sort of Merlin look in this medieval world, which makes certain amount of sense. I don't know if I like it or dislike it. I'm not particularly first. Some of the enemies make absolutely perfect sense, and some of them don't, and um, the graphical side, it's nice, but it's not spectacular. The sound side of things, uh, the title tune is a bit funky, but I also think it gets rather annoying after a while, but it is what it is. The sound effects by and large are very, very satisfying and very fitting for the game. The uh, vocal callouts from Video Kid himself, it's just, yeah, it is. A bit gimmicky, I think that speech, uh, unless it's full blown dialogue, so. Uh, some games it adds to them, and some games it doesn't really matter, and this is one of those games where the speech doesn't really matter. It's a nice touch, but not exactly game changing in any way, shape, or form. The controls are. The controls are okay as such, but they, the control of uh, Video Kit, or Billy if you want, if, can feel extremely stiff. The controls are responsive enough as such, but it just feels like it's more jumping than uh, smooth movement, which can be rather jarring, especially when you have a constantly scrolling screen and you're trying to and navigate the different areas of the screen and it is very very easy to get trapped because of that jumpiness and the controls. The gameplay is what you see. It is a um, on rails scrolling shoot em up um, with a bit of a twist. Of course the twist being that it's not a spaceship blasting aliens, it's a video kit, blasting whatever is somatic for the world he's currently in. If this kind of gameplay bores you, then this game will absolutely bore you senseless, but if it doesn't, then you might have some enjoyment out of it. What I don't particularly like about this game is that the parts are random. Paths should never ever be random, but you can get weapon power ups, you can get directional shots, or you can get power ups. But you never know what you're getting. And if you badly need a weapon power up and you keep getting directional power ups, uh, it gets a bit blare. The difficulty is possibly too high for what it should be. There's a lot of unavoidable damage. In the game, there's a lot of moments of haha, screwed you moments as well, and it's not exactly the most enjoyable for this kind of game. That being said, I, certain people seem to dislike this game quite extensively, and I, for some reason, couldn't get myself to do so. I enjoyed it far more than I expected to, based on what comments I read, but I can't enjoy it as much as I want to, which is a bit of a shame. All in all, I'm not too bad for what it is, but it could be a lot better. On that note, thanks for watching, take care, see you next time. Bye bye for now.